Hashtag MSW. You may begin to feel anxious or excited. Honest, deliberate, engaging, uncensored. High dosage administration can cause adverse reactions. And most importantly, independent in mind. This is a normal response. Are you ready? We're our sports worldwide. One of the most embarrassing things over the weekend, that for three days we didn't have road shape. It had nothing to do with people marching. But it has... <laughs> so if you use the metaphor of football, it's like we are in the relegation zone. You know for DSTV Premier League? They relegate these two. So there is uh, Kusile and Tutu. Let's behave. Let's behave like Mami Lodi Sundown. <laughs> Well, I can't mention those uh, two teams from Soweto because they're not helping us. But these two, this one. Marawa Sports Worldwide. Boxing is definitely not dead. Boxing is fine. The state of amateur boxing needs to be looked at. But professional boxing, we've got wonderful talent. So, yeah, nothing wrong with boxing. Jeffrey's and Naturina. And I'm wondering, why is boxing not advertised like cricket, like soccer, like rugby, like like the other sports? We used to wake up when Jan Bergman was fighting. Yeah. Jan Tobela was fighting. Robert Marawa, live on 947. Vuma FM, Rise FM, and Sowetan Live. Hashtag MSW. First of all, I can tell you that uh, the camp is going well. Um, the boys are working hard, preparing themselves very good for the games of tomorrow and next week uh, on Tuesday. Um, and that uh, makes me happy, that makes me confident. I have to say we are conscious that um, we have two difficult, tough games to play. But I feel little by little that uh, the team is believing in themselves and is believing in a positive result. The first game for me is maybe more important than the second in that way that we need a win. We need absolutely a win here. If we can go to Monrovia with a victory, it's already three points, but what's also very important is the goal difference. So if it should be a draw in Monrovia, and we have four on six, and we won here with two nil, for example, then the goal difference is plus one for us and minus four for them. So that makes it for them extra difficult to qualify even when they win against, uh, should win against Morocco. So um, I think this is something we have to keep in mind also, that uh, if tomorrow we can make the first goal, that we don't have to stop without taking stupid risks, but going for the second and maybe for the third if it's possible. Uh, we saw what can happen for the world qualifiers if we should have scored a little bit more against Zimbabwe. We should play the playoffs. And now that stupid goal in Ghana killed us. So again, we have to try to win and also to try with as much goals as possible. It will not be easy uh, because uh, it's a dream to, 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 to win the game tomorrow with 3-0. But OK, we have to go. We don't have to think about anything else. Just the victory is, um, is very important. Um, there are no injuries, so um, I think um, the preparation to the games are very serene. Let's say that in English. Yeah. Serene, yeah? yeah? Yeah. So no problems. Uh, everyone is concentrated, and I think everyone uh, is ready to play the games so to start tomorrow with the first game against uh, Liberia. Yeah, the voice there of the Bafana Bafana coach, Hugo Bruce, brimming with confidence after collecting at least four points in two crucial back-to-back -back 2023 Africa Cup of Nations qualifiers against Liberia. And of course, that is starting with the first leg in Johannesburg at the Orlando Stadium tomorrow at 1700 hours. So that was the Bafana coach describing the preparations as what he says is very serene, adding that every one of the 23 members he selected uh, for the two games was ready and they were available. Yeah, incredible story. 
As we welcome you to 947, it is Marawa Sports Worldwide. Uh, broadcasting live from Vuma FM Studios. Rise FM, as well as Sowetan Live, that's where you can catch us. We are an interactive show. We've got a special guest. We're going to be chatting to you shortly, uh, the president of Amazulu Football Club, Sandile Zungu. Um, a lot's been happening in his world. In fact, we're going to be congratulating him for something outside of football. And that's how hard the man has been working. But I see a lot of your WhatsApp voice notes already uh, streaming through social media interaction already. Uh, questions being posed to him. Uh, so it's going to be a very brisk hour. Or even less than that. 0607080484. 0607080484. Well, we talk about the International Week. I mean, how many 41-year-olds do you know who still rock up for international duty? How many 41-year-olds who haven't even played for the national team in over a year? And that is why a lot of us who are big fans of him, regardless of what club he plays for, but the bottom line is that there is no touching a gentleman by the name of Zlatan Ibrahimovic. He's rocked up for his national team, back in the squad, called up at the age of 41. An incredible story. So basically, was swollen. my knee was swollen for eight, nine months. But then suddenly, one month ago, something happened and, uh, and yeah, everything became positive. And I got the energy from it, and from there we could work more and more. So from standing still for eight months, suddenly I could move normal. And then from normal, I tried to play the game, and it became good. And from there, I stepped it up. Obviously, I broke a record for being the oldest player to to score in in Serie A, but I didn't win the game. And then I had the honor to be the captain for my team, and I didn't win the game. So the, the outcome could have been better if I won the game, but I didn't. So... But at the same time, I'm, I'm very happy that I'm able to play my game because that is important for me because I'm not there for charity or I'm not here for charity. I'm here to play my game and to provide and bring result through my performance. So hopefully I can continue to do that, but at the same time feeling feeling healthy. I take, I take it day by day. If I feel good and I'm selected by the coach, I mean, I will, I will help him, the team and the country to, to do my best. So... I think in my age, you cannot think future, you think present, even if I'm the past, present, and the future. Hashtag MSW. Oh, man, the past, present, and the future. Zlatan Ibrahimovic. You can't get better than that, man. And I wish him the best of luck. I think he's really uh, showed us what a positive energy it is for so, so many years as well. It was their last uh, training session today before they begin their 2024 UEFA European Championship Group F qualification against Domenico Tedesco's Belgian side at the Friends Arena in Stockholm. That game also happening tomorrow. They're going to be entering the match off the back of four straight international friendly victories. Uh, while this will represent Belgium's first contest since they were eliminated in the group stages of the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar, uh, which... I suppose, like any other coach, Roberto Martinez lost his job as the head coach uh, post that occasion. Yeah, looking forward to our conversation. Amazulu Football Club have got massive, massive ambitions. Amazulu Football Club are a great institution of SA football. And their president is going to be chatting to us right here on hashtag MSW. Previously on Marawa Sports Worldwide. Yeah, chatting to Pro Pilani, national teams have assembled, new captains have been formed, new coaches are taking duty. Well, one of my biggest challenges or concern was the fact that uh, our, our our top performing under-23 player he, he is going with Bafana Bafana uh, against Liberia, that is Keshas Malula. I, I, I was of the view that uh, Coach David Notone and Coach Hugo Bruce are going to focus on helping us get into the Olympics qualifiers. Do you believe that we've called enough and the best who are active? Well, uh, it, it, it's shocking that uh, a player like uh, Ukobamega Kodisani, after missing out at Bafana Bafana, was also not considered for the under-23. But one of the biggest problems that I think we have in the country is, is, is progression. Um, progression, is, uh, progression is very bad, uh, Put Robert. Hashtag MSW. Hashtag MSW.
Well, I think everything in life is a champ challenge if you look at it that way. And even though it is something completely different, I do think there's a lot of elements that you can take away from netball and bring it into the rugby environment. Everything is about catching and passing. And instead of running with the ball at netball, now I am allowed to run. And the faster, the better, obviously, as well. Um, and yeah, I think it's a, it's a massive opportunity to be able to go out on the field and be able to sing your national anthem, not only for one of your national teams, but also for a second national team. And it doesn't take away anything from it being so surreal in that moment because it's many people's dream to do the exact same thing that I'm doing. And I think I'm just showing that the challenge is never too big or never too small. It's all in your mind. And if you put your mind to it, you can achieve it as well. Well, I think the support group is specifically what it's called. It's a support group. I think a lot of people obviously are shocked or were shocked when I initially said I am trading my my nepo tackies for some rugby boots and um, my air will never be able to look nice again. But I think everybody has backed me and in more ways than I can actually comprehend sometimes. Um, and it's nice because you always need your support system, you can't do anything without them. Um, so my parents, my family, my friends, anybody who are there for me, like I love you guys and I wouldn't change this for the world. Okay, so I think my first favourite player ever would be Steven Kitzel, there's just something about him. Um, met him once, he's a lovely person, um, I think on the on the rugby field, he goes on the field, he does exactly what he does um, and knows exactly what he needs to do. Um, he's a quiet player, you won't ever really see him like lash out or say much, um, but he goes in and he goes in with intent and he plays a hard rugby game. Um, and then a second favourite, and I think it's everybody's favourite player, is Ivan Etzebet. And um, I think in, as a Springbok women's team, we were super excited to be back from the international rugby since the World Cup last year, especially with the experience that we had last day in the World Cup, having to play our test, our first test match this year against Canada, which is one of the most um, experienced team and very exciting team to play against. We are just looking forward for, to the experience, especially with the new squad that we have, uh, with the new kids that have joined us, and we are looking forward to it. Uh, on top of that, you can expect the same Sunday that you were watching last year.